Marvelous it is to be able to draw nigh to God through his word. We're privileged to be able to open it up. Let's look today at Proverbs 21 and 27. It says the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind. One who practices sin and seeks to cover it over with religion is an offense to God. Such a fact, sacrifice is an abomination. Furthermore, the man that will not listen to the law of God will not be heard by God. Proverbs 28, 9 says, He that turneth away his ear from the hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Seeking to justify yourself to God and to please other men by going through the ritual of a church service is hypocrisy, and God hates it. Some go through religious rituals because it gives them personal glory and professional advantage. But listen to what Jesus said to the Pharisees. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Israel knew that they only, they only of all earth's nations had true worship of the true God. They had Jehovah's temple. They had the altar, the priests, the prophets, and the law of God. But they took far too much comfort in the outward forms of religion. So God mocked them for trusting in his temple in Jerusalem without living holy lives. This is what he says in Jeremiah, chapter 7, and verse 13. And now, because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I give to you and to your fathers, as I have done in Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. God condemned their religious hypocrisy. In another place in Jeremiah chapter 6, it says, To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba, and the sweet cane from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Matter of fact, he considered and valued their sacrifice of an ox the same as murder to man, the lamb as a dog's neck, a, a gift as swine's blood. Isaiah 66 verse 3 says it very clearly, He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrifices the lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck he that offereth an oblation, as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol. Yea, ye have chosen your own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. It's sad, but the scenario is very similar to the Laodicean church. In Revelation 3.15, it says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou wert cold or hot. So because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You see, the religion of Jesus Christ requires a pure heart and a holy life. That's why in John 4, 24, it says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth.